background, when I was in high school, I was six foot two, 122 pounds. Okay? I got called a bumpy dildo quite a bit by my mother. <laughs> so, um, I put on one of those do-rags because I saw my uncle wearing a do-rag. I thought that was very cool. My friend's sister said I looked like a tall testicle. So, so I decided to start going to the gym. I started going to the gym. There's always a little bit of gossip going around the gym, you know, just like the workplace. I walked in the other day to, hey, Brian, did you see Gerald the other day? He's over here talking to them Asian girls again. I wonder if his wife knows he's talking to them Asian girls. Do you see those tiny shorts he's wearing? Good. Lord, them some tiny shorts, Brian. Do you see those? Good thing he's wearing them yoga pants underneath. Otherwise, he'd look ridiculous. But goosh. Okay. Oh, hey, Gerald. How you doing? Good. What you working on today? Good. Needs to be working on him legs if he's going to be wearing tiny shorts. Right? <laughs> Me personally, I could never get away with tiny shorts because I'm quite a bit of leg and uh, I'm also extremely white underneath. You guys ever seen the movie Powder? Yeah, that's what I got going on. It's like squinty in the sun kind of white. I'm Scotch Irish. After watching that movie when I was a kid, I actually wouldn't go outside in a rainstorm for like six months because I thought I was related to this guy. I did a genealogy report. You guys ever done a genealogy thing? Find out where you're from, your ancestors or whatever. Turns out I got a bird in my family tree. Yeah. It's not that funny. If I stand like this, you can put me in your garden. You know? If I eat a lot of shrimp, I turn pink. That's your takeaway. <laughs> it's how flamingos get their color, just in case you didn't know. 